Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the Civil War inside the former state of Ethiopia. There has not been a lot of media coverage about what is happening inside the former state of Ethiopia, especially recent successful operations by the Aromia Liberation Army. There have been a number of recent operations within the last two weeks, to include within the last 24 to 48 hours, of successful OLA operations taking place throughout the former state of Ethiopia. Not just inside of Aromia, but we have seen OLA units, in fact, launch operations deep inside of the Amhara region. We have seen multiple attacks by OLA units against Amharan Regional Special Forces units. Again, when we say special forces, we say special forces lightly. What we really mean is regional light infantry forces. But nonetheless, OLA forces have attacked and destroyed a multitude of Amharan regional forces near Debre Borhan and Shia Robit. Again, Oromia Liberation Army forces have crossed into the Amhara region, North Shia, and conducted operations against Amharan regional forces. We have also seen continued operation by the OLA in western Aromia and other areas of the Aromia region to include assaults against government installations and prisons holding Aromia prisoners. So we're continuing to watch this. It is still ongoing. We anticipate that the civil war in the former state of Ethiopia will continue for some time, especially with what is happening right now in Aromia. We are continuing to watch the situation on the ground in the Tigray region as well. The Tigrayan defense forces still exist. If we look at this map the, with the green area that the TDF controls, still controls, the TDF is still mobilized, we question the validity that uh, Michele is, is red. We do understand red meaning a B loyalist forces have moved into that area. We do understand that there is a small token force of a B-loyalist federal police that were brought in under the auspice of the Pretoria Agreement. But in fact, the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces still control Mekele and all areas around Mekele. So we're going to continue to watch the situation on the ground in Tigray. We are continuing to watch the movement of Eatrean Forces be it in or out of the Tigray region. And we are continuing to watch some of these successful operations by the OLA against a B loyalist forces. More to come as we continue our coverage. Thank you for joining us today. More to come. Have a good day.